Hi, internet people. So, I had an exceptionally surprising box appear on my doorstep. Um, so I am part of the Curios and Conundrum subscription box system. Um, it's quarterly boxes and I've done, um, Gods of Madness and the Brain Butchers. And I did not realize that I was up to get another box already, but there was a box in my house. So unless something strange has happened, the new Curios and Conundrums box is out. So I'm actually going to do a surprise to me unboxing because I had no idea it was coming. So let's, let's open the box. Oh, oh, this is exciting. I had no idea what this was. Oh my gosh. Okay. So the theme of it is clockwork mutineers and this looks, I love these boxes so much. It literally looks like one of those sci-fi pulp books. This is so pretty. I love it. <laughs> um, but this is so cool. But I did not know this was coming today. I really didn't. Normally I get like a, your box has shipped email, but it may have gone to my spam folder. Okay. Ooh, ooh, this is exciting. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh. There's always so much stuff in here and I always forget. Okay. So music of spheres. All right. Einstein is on the front. I love these newspapers. These are so cool. So this is the fun newspaper. Ooh, these are so cool. I love these. There's like TV. I don't, I'm not going to go through this whole thing. Um, there's like races, there's clocks. Oh, there are actual like science pulp pictures. I'm not even showing you things, but it's like time travel. Um, this says Ex Libra, Ex Libra is the curator. And then there's so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, they've like packed everything together. Oh, there's a patch. There's a patch. I'm sorry. I'm just yelling things. Okay. One, there are freaking postcards, which fills me with glee. Um, I actually have friends who I send postcards to and these are perfect, although I might put these up in my, in my office. Okay, so the postcards include greetings from the future. It's close your eyes, now open them. It's the future. Here it comes again and again. Before you know it, you're facing technological oblivion and flamingo, flamingo, please? You sh wish you were now. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Um, Dinotona 500 million BC. See, racing like never before. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. And then this is Visit the Moon. Oh, I love this one. Oh, these are so pretty. Um, okay, so there are those. Um, I mentioned that there is a patch, and there is. It says Interdimensional Fellowship of Time Travelers. It has unicorns and an eye and a clock. This is so cool. This is freaking amazing. Okay, um, there are the postcards. Then there is a paper craft, which actually looks like it's already put together, which is different. Um, one paper craft contraption. A nocturnal, aka a noc nocturlabe? An instrument used in the Middle Ages to determine time based on the specific position of stars. Oh, okay. So it is put together already, um, and it explains what to do. Um, it has the instructions, you locate Polaris, you choose constellation, and you move the flat edge of the matching. So there's like a whole thing for how to figure this out, but this is so cool! And it's like put together already. Normally you put them together yourself, but admittedly I have actually been sending the paper crafts to my pen pal in Canada because she really likes doing crafty stuff, so I've been sending them to her. But this is so cool! She may also get this one, even though it's like really cool. Um, the other ones have been really cool too, but um, I just thought she'd enjoy them. Then this is, so you want to be a time traveler with automatic updates. Oh my gosh. Um, there was actually a series when I was a kid that I loved called So You Want to Be a Wizard. Um, this reminds me of that. Um, there's this thing on paradoxes, baby steps, death can wait. <laughs> um, there's the, that Hitler thing where they talk about like if you try and get rid of bad guys, um, what happens. Fanny packs. There's like stuff to bring. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Oh. That says bring birth control, which makes me chuckle. Wait, there is more. Um, don't worry, this copy will update automatically. Oh, so at the end it says it'll update automatically. This is so cool. I love this. Okay, then there's one of my favorite parts, which is the enamel pin because I collect enamel pins. So we're going to pop that baby out. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It is a, like, oh, I do, I'm going to see if there's a description before I, like, try and explain it. The soon-to-be sport of time machine piloting, and it's totally, like, 
very 50s style woman, manning, womaning? Running a time machine. So it's in like this vortexy thing. That's really cool. This whole box is so cool. Okay. The item this time is like super secretively boxed up. There's always a cool description for these. A portal to another dimension, blank, blacked out infiltration, or just a bent old pocket watch with an octopus living in it. Oh my gosh, it's like a melted clock. There are tentacles. This is amazing. It's going with the other ones. All my other ones are over there. I'll probably put it up near the front so you can like marvel at it. But this is so cool. One, I didn't know this was coming today. Two, this is super exciting because it's a ton of stuff that I really like. I really like the aesthetic of old time sci-fi and I did take a history of science fiction course. It was called History of the Future, which sounds very time travel-y, when I was in college and we actually read um, a bunch of sci-fi. So we would read a bunch of older sci-fi books and then talk about like the history of science fiction and like science during that period of time and why people would have written like that. So this is very, very cool. I am so pumped about all of this. This is very awesome. Um, so yeah, that is the Curios and Conundrums kit. I really need to read the newspaper um, that comes with this. I love them. I just sometimes like get behind and then I'm like, oh yeah, I need to read those. Um, Cause I, th I feel like I didn't finish the Brain Butchers one. Not intentionally. I just didn't like sit down and read it. Um, which is totally going to happen. I have some days off this week. It's going to happen. Um, but yes, I love this. So you want to be a time traveler book. This nocturnal Abe is really cool. I said that wrong. I know I did. I absolutely love this patch. I need to figure out how to get, I have patches from some other boxes, but this, this one is amazing. And I really need to find something to put it on like right away because this is perfect and very, very cool. Um, I may buy a special bag for that Ooh, bag. I'm just going to buy a bag and cover it in patches. It's going to happen. Um, I love these postcards though. I may keep them. I really want to keep the Visit the Moon one, but I think I'm going to send the other two to friends because I think they'll like them. I also love the enamel pins, but I always love the enamel pins and this octopus is so cute. This is like melty clock. I love it. I love all of it. Okay, so there you go. If you are getting a Curios and Conundrums box or even if you don't get them and you just enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, let me know your favorite part um, in the comments below or on Twitter. I'm at Clef Notes. Um, you can find me on my blog, clefnotes.wordpress.com. I wrote for the Nerdy Girl Express, the Nerdy Girl Express .com. And I wrote the Snapchat, the Nerdy Girl EXP. Oh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, please subscribe. Bye, internet people.